Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel for the final episode of our vintage home. <laughs> I know some of you will be disappointed or sad that it's ending and actually it was so much fun for me but the truth is I just really don't have any time on my hands right now. This last episode is already so late, like I think I started filming this over a month ago and I just didn't get to finishing it just because of university i really have like my deadlines i'm a film student if you did not know so yeah shortly i'm just really busy at the moment i didn't find the time to edit i hardly ever took any videos and i think sometimes they're like something's missing that i'm not explaining like i looked through a few of these and i was like how will people understand what we're doing um so sadly i think it won't be as much like detailed as the other episodes but i hope you will still like watch it and enjoy it um so i think i will just sit here and like explain some things if i feel like uh, it's necessary so yeah but without further ado let's get right into the video i'm so excited for this episode and i hope you are too so yeah let's go like a big collector of 1950s things and he has like a big kind of showroom or like a room of his collection and he's selling everything I think or most of it um, and I actually saw this very nice um, wall curtain that I thought would be great for our bathroom so that's what we wanted to check out it's like a 45 minutes drive um, yeah, and we might also find some other cute things. Every time I walk, I walk with Rosemary. Rosemary mine. I find I lose all track of time when I'm with Rosemary. Rosemary, it's always June in January. Anyone can tell we love each other. All right, guys, so we're heading back now. <laughs> it's about one hour later. Let's talk about this experience. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> we got the like um, wall carpet thing. We actually got another one that I didn't see on, uh, on eBay that is actually nicer because there's more detail going on. I'm very happy with that. Um, but you guys, the whole experience was a bit like surreal and weird because he's like the most German guy ever. He's like in his, I don't know, 50s or something. And but the one that's only interested in cars. So, so you know, the guy that always talks about cars. Yeah, so he was like, all right, so um, I will show you like the rooms. And then he was like beginning to like, by the way, where are you from? And we're like, oh. yeah. And then we're like, okay, red flag. But okay, we just ignore it. We say, okay, we're from Berlin. It's like, yeah, yeah, I know. But I mean, like, really? Where are you really, are from? You really from? And you know, that is a sentence that just people from Germany, like people of color, like it's kind of happening on like a daily basis it's like a real insider now between us because it's happening so many times you really get used to it um, as a person of color in germany that's also something that i want to talk about in like this whole racism video that i want to drop in the near future 
Um, so this is the most typical cliche thing that you can say here in Germany. And like was, he read the script of... Uh, yeah, and also the way he was like, <laughs> no, where are you really from? This is so typical. This is what people write books about, like about racism. And then he's Always saying, these kind of situations, you guys, they are real, okay? Yeah. They're really happening. And he was like, are you from Cuba or something? And then he said, you know, I just love those countries. I love all those countries. You better be joking. I was like, are you from China or like from Poland and stuff? And then he was so like annoyed with us, I think, that he didn't say anything <laughs> anymore. And we were just like, David even asked me, should we go? Like, should we go home? I was like, nah, I want to get this wall carpet now. <laughs> I was so annoyed because we drove up here like for 45 minutes. So I wanted to buy something, okay? Anyway, so we have the wall carpets. Back there, we will show it to you when we get home. It's so pretty. I can't wait to put it up. We have to see how we can put it on the door. So yeah, now let's head to IKEA, and I will update you in a bit. So it's the next day, and I thought I would show you the wall carpet that we got yesterday. So, ta-da! Here it is. It's this gorgeous mid-century black wall carpet with this beautiful woman sitting um and having like a little hand mirror and here you can see like some perfume bottles or something or like shampoo so we'll hang some lot to this on our bathroom door like on the inside but we still have to figure out what to do like where to hang it on to but i mean how gorgeous is it and i think it would go so nicely in our bathroom it's just really really perfect <laughs> So today we will actually get rid of a lot of this chaotic corner here. <laughs> so David and me have bought some IKEA plastic like storing boxes. Um, so that's what they look like. And we will try to put like every clothing piece that is still in the boxes in there. And then hopefully it will look much better because this corner is starting to annoy me. Um, it's already a bit smaller than it was when we like moved right in, but still you can see way too chaotic. So I won't be showing you like how I pack it the whole time. I think it's too boring. But as you can see, that's what one of the boxes looks like now. So I have all of my summer stuff here that I definitely will not be needing until like June. The other one is already ready to go under the bed. And in here I have like some spring summer suits, my 60s dresses that I also only tend to be wearing in like the spring summertime. I have some 1940s spring skirts and I have my dance costumes right here. So all the things that I don't need in my regular wardrobe like all of the time. And as you can see there's still like this box with scarves um, and belts and stuff like that. So I have to figure out what to do with this because I don't want to put all of my scarves under the bed. So we will see. And then I have like a whole box of shoes left too. So here are my spring and summer shoes. I also put some paper in here so that they keep the shape. And I think this is done because I don't want to put any more shoes on there. So yep, that's another one. All right, guys, this is how far I came. I'm actually pretty happy with how much I got rid of, or not got rid of, but stored in a different way. Um, only this one box is going underneath, but David has to help me with that. And yeah, other than that, I have like a few boxes still here, but that's just something that I can only get rid of if I get some other kind of boxes or a different storage idea. And here's our laundry. But other than that, that's really as much as I can get rid of right now. Here are the boxes underneath the bed. So practical. I recommend it to everyone who struggles with storage. Hey guys, so today is a very chill day. David and me decided to check out a few antique shops here in Berlin because we are still looking for a table for our living room. And also I decided that I wanted like a little bar cart kind of next to the sofa where we can put some nice drinks on. And yeah, so these are the two main things that we're looking for. Leading off with 
in my dreams. sunny outside. I love it. I'm so excited. Spring is coming. <laughs> So first of all, I got this box. I think it's from the 1950s. It's just like a empty box that was meant for like underwear, as you can see. And I just really liked the whole design, like with the pastel colors. I just think that it will go so nicely in our bedroom. And I thought about storing maybe some vintage gloves or like some um little scarves or jewelry or something in there or even my hair flowers other thing is this 1950s maybe 1960s watch so i already told you that i was on the lookout for one and this watch was only 20 euros so and the good thing is that it uh, works with battery because the other way around with like a key would be too um annoying for me i didn't want that so um yeah you can open it and then we will have to put in like a functioning battery but the color is just not 100 percent right so we will see if we end up really liking it or if we maybe find like another one and maybe like one year but for now i think this will really do the trick um, or I also thought about maybe painting this like a more pastel color, like maybe a peach or a pink or something. So guys, we now officially found a bar cart. Finally, um, I've been looking for around two weeks now, like every day. And um, I wanted something for this corner. Sorry, the lighting is so bad. It's like really dark outside. But for this corner, I found it on eBay, obviously, again. Um, for a very good price. So let's see how it looks like. So this is it, like the front of it. It looks really not that like spectacular or anything, but when you take a closer look, you see that, first of all, this wasn't always white. Here you can see the brown wood peeking through. You can actually see the painting job was not done that nicely. Um, then, as you can see in those pictures, it has this beautiful function with the two mirrors inside, which makes it look so glamorous. I'm 100% sure this is like an Art Deco bar card. Like, these are so hard to find in Germany, and they're really easy to find, I feel like, in the UK and the US. But here, it's really rare. So, we will try to get all of the white paint off 
and see what's actually underneath and i am so excited for this project you guys so this will be like one of our main focuses in like the next few weeks and it will actually arrive next week when everything goes right so fingers crossed you guys i did something <laughs> Yesterday I bought this baby blue paint because I wanted, I decided to um, paint the kitchen clock that I bought two days ago at the flea market um, in this nice baby blue color because um, we tried like to put it on the wall and we actually saw, you know, we decided that it didn't really fit. I mean, that's something that I already thought it would. The color is not perfect for our kitchen. So I thought, you know what, I will give it a go. Try to spray pan with this paint that I um, bought yesterday. I have no idea how this will go. I never did anything like this. Um, so we will see. But, you know, as the watch was only 20 euros, if something goes wrong, we can always like buy another one. Or think of something else so as you can see i totally taped the um, clock up so that the paint wouldn't come like on the numbers and everything now i will actually start painting like i'm kind of nervous because i have no idea how this will look like in the end and if this will function i hope i will not get paint everywhere but we'll see <laughs> so I should shake it two minutes before doing it. All right, I think that's fine. So I will wait like another minute and then I will uh, try to do it. <laughs> so I now wait a bit. He told me to do it like 30 centimeters. So let's see. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I'm not sure about this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what do you think? Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, it's nice. I just hope that the color dries nicely and that nothing will leak through but cool. the color is nice isn't it that looks really nice so now we'll wait until i come back in the evening to see if i need to do like a second coat tomorrow that's what it looks like now pretty neat okay guys the moment i've been waiting for I should wait until tomorrow so that we can film in daylight, but I just can't wait. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, this is so satisfying. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool. You nailed it. Wow. Wait, is it now sticking to me? <laughs> no way! <laughs> no way! <laughs> <laughs> I think we should put it like this on the wall. Oh, oh yeah. God. Oh my wow, god. Wow, it looks so this nice. Looks so good. Much I'm actually better. shook. Wow. So as you can see, there's like still a few like tight, but I think it's it's okay. okay. I think I have to leave it this way because I need to completely like um, cover the watch up and I think there's just no way that we can fill this out. Guys, look what just arrived today. <laughs> we finally have like a washing trunk or whatever you call these basically like a kind of bench that you can put in front of your bed and i found this one on ebay and it's actually fitting our bed so perfectly it's like in the same kind of linen material it's not real real linen i think but it looks very linen like 
and it has these like really nice classic details and this one was so heavy you guys like <laughs> i could barely even get it upstairs but i'm just in love it just looks so classic and also the cool thing is if you open it you even have like this thing in the middle so that you have two um kind of sides and on like the right side we have like our dark laundry and then on the left side our um light or like white laundry so that's so practical and it was a really good price i think we paid like 35 euros for this and i've seen some actually like that are pretty similar to this one or even like the same and we're like 500 euros i'm not even kidding you guys i just love it and also you have still like a lot of space to walk through it you can like walk like this <laughs> Oh my god guys it is here oh i can't believe it. it's so pretty okay you need to open it let's see how it opens oh my god so we need to put like the other it has like glass in here and we need to put this right here oh my god hey it's so nice yeah we need to fix that he told it told me that it needs to be fixed but it's nothing big nothing major oh my god how fancy is that <laughs> obsessed honestly it fits perfectly in there like the measurements are perfect and i love that it's not super low because most of the bar cards that we found online were really low and that's a very nice height so here are the wall masks that we recently got so first of all we have this bigger head um that is so pretty it's like a woman um, with a little collar here and she has actually some gold accents in her hair which is so nice i think the design is originally from 1957 but i think it looks so art deco and then she came with this little girl so cute she's also probably from the 50s and then these two guys um they arrived like two days ago they're so cute so i wanted this model for a longer time and um, they were always really expensive, like 50 euros or something, or even more. So I actually found these two pairs um, for 10 euros. I only paid 10 euros for it, you guys. So sometimes it's really worth waiting for a good deal. And she's so cute. They're like a tiny bit creepy. <laughs> I mean, the mouth of the guy. Um, I originally only wanted her, but then they sent me like both of them. And I was like, yeah, I mean, it's better than... Um, yeah, ripping them apart, you know. I don't care who knows it. I'm in love with you. Guys, we finally have some curtains. So we decided on these pink um, linen curtains. I love the structure. As you can see, they're a tiny bit transparent. I hope it's not too transparent, but I think because of the structure, it will be okay. So this is what they look like closed. Yep, and that's actually such a huge deal for us because now we can just relax and don't worry about like neighbors looking inside. Also, I feel like I have never shown you the um, lamp that we have in here that my grandpa installed. 
few weeks ago. So um, as you can see, it's this, I think it's from the 30s maybe or 40s. And it's um, ceramic with like green accents, which is great because it's exactly the same green of our walls. So it's perfect. Now we'll show it to you without the light. So that's what it looks like. And yeah, I think it looks very nice in here. It's also very unusual. Like I've never seen any lamp like this before. Yes. <laughs> Guys, so yesterday I was exploring our neighborhood and I just came by this amazing antique shop. It's actually a 10 minute walk from our flat and we found three of the most amazing um, paintings there. So here's what they look like. Here are the two of them. They're the original painting hand painted. It actually says that on the back. It says original aquarell. Handgemalt, so handmade. I think these are Japanese or something because I have these signs here. Might be wrong, but I think the whole art looks very much inspired by the Japanese culture. So, um, yeah, they're so gorgeous. So now we're deciding where to put it and we already tried actually putting it over the sofa. I actually thought we could put it in this corner and I think it looks super nice here. Yeah. Oh, I'm questioning everything. I don't know. It's just uh, the color palette is so perfect for this area, kind of. Um, we will see, but we might also put it over the sofa. But I actually wanted to put like one big painting over the sofa because that is like the only place that we could do that. Um, but then I have to decide on like a very perfect one, and it's just so much stress. And yeah, we will see. But that's what we will do now and then I will update you later when we decided on where to put it. All right guys, so we decided to put it above the sofa and I love this. This is so elegant. I'm so glad that we chose to do that. It's just really, really nice. These give me like very 1930s lounge vibes. Um, also, the wood is just so good with our um, sofa wood. It's just perfect. And another thing that we actually did today is make the um, sofa table shorter. Something that we already um, thought about, I think, two episodes ago when we bought it. And now we did it, and I think now it looks a bit better. It's like a bit more proportional. This is what it looks like now. Before that, it was like around this height. So now it's more the height of the sofa. Okay, so now I feel like I need to explain what was going on because um, at this point, we started the restoring process. Uh, like my neighbor from like my mom's place, she borrowed us these I'm not even sure what they're called, but they are like basically tools to get off the paint, but you have to scratch it. And it was a lot of work. I think for half of the bar card or maybe a bit more, we did all of the four doors, like the inside and outside. And that was already so much work, you guys. Like we were always doing it um, after uni, like in the evening. We did it, we watched like some TV. It was fun, but really hard. And then we actually went to this antique shop and they also do like restorations of furniture. Um, and we asked them if they could maybe do like the rest of the bar card. We didn't want it white, we wanted it brown. I actually already had like a vision in my head and they gave us like a good price. They did the rest of the scratching um, and would also make it brown. And they told us it would be ready in like one week. So after one week, we went back. Um, I was super nervous because they've sent us a video, told us that not everything of the paint came off, which was already like a horror scenario. I was like, oh no, now we bought this one in white and now maybe, I don't know, it will have to be white forever. Um, and they sent us like a video of like options they could do because, um, yeah, it was apparently like a hard project because the wood was not what they expected it to be. So they sent us a video. I was not 100% convinced, to be honest, but then we already told them to do it. So they did the whole bar card 
And then when we got there, I was literally so scared to look at it because this was like my big project, you know? Um, and we had a look at it and I was just not that happy, to be honest. It was just not what I like expected it to be. But they explained to us basically that, as I already told you, the wood underneath the bar cart was not the kind of wood that is typical, like common with these really fancy 1930s art deco bar carts. It was like really typical, like hard wood. And um, if they would do it the way that I wanted it to look like, it would cost us like over a thousand euros. And we do not have that kind of money to spend on a bar cart. So they basically did the affordable version for us, which is why it does not look as expensive as I wanted it to look like. But the thing is, um, as you will be seeing, the structure of the paint or whatever they use, I'm really not sure what they used, sometimes looks like a bit sloppy, like they did it a bit sloppy. Um, but again, I'm not a pro, so I'm not sure how they did it. Um, so I can't really judge if it's like their fault or if it's what they're tell telling us um, because of the wood. So yeah, I was a bit disappointed, but you know, the doors were not on it yet. Um, they were still loose. So I was like, you know, maybe when we put it all together, it will look nicely. So we took it home with us and um, put everything together and then it actually looked better. We also put like the original handles on it. They actually fit super well. Um, and also put the mirrors inside and then it already of course started to look better and now it's been like over three weeks I think and um, yeah I'm actually really happy with the way it is um, of course it could look like nicer like more expensive looking if you know what I mean but I think for the kind of budget that we had it is still pretty amazing and just fits perfectly in our living room, which is of course also very important. So yeah, that was the process on the bar cart, you guys. If you know anything about wood, like the whole process of restoring old furniture, I would love to hear your opinion on if you think they could have done a better job or if what they're telling us is not the truth because I don't think they're lying to us, but if you think there could have been like a different option. Yeah, I'm still happy with it. We already used it at our housewarming party that was on the 1st of April and people loved it. It was, it's just a really nice effect to show to guests, you know? Um, yeah, so that was the process on the bar card, you guys. Ta-da! We have our wall carpet up here. Um, we did that like a few days ago and bought these little hooks and then just glued it like onto the door so that we didn't have to get some holes in it or something. And it's just so great in here. Honestly, I am in love with it. And then on this side, we finally have our mid-century fish up on the wall and we also added this towel rack in black. Um, it looks like a bit industrial, but that's what I had like in mind for the bathroom. And now we finally can put our towels on here and not on the radiator. There's only like our hand towel, but I want to get like a black towel holder, maybe in like a round, like a ring, towel ring here. And then it will be complete. And we also added this like toilet paper holder in a very simple black. I like literally had a look at so many of these, but at the end I decided on this simple look because I think this goes very well in here. But there's one more change. So we actually put a lamp up. We didn't have any lamp in here actually. <laughs> and now we have this very simple Ikea lamp. Um, that gives off a very simple classic vintage vibe actually these were very popular also in the 50s and 30s and stuff so um yeah this, this just goes so well in here and i'm actually planning to put like almost the same one maybe a bit smaller like right above the mirror actually um i will see where i can find that but that would be dope because then i have even more light in here if like do my makeup or something uh yeah so that's the bathroom i'm so happy with how this is turning out you guys hey guys Hello. so we're on the road again we 
we're actually picking up our dining table and oh my god I've searched so long for a fitting table and there was like a lot of drama because this one guy he told us yeah you can come by look at it and then one day before that he told us oh no I already sold it some people ghosted us it was a mess and now we finally found a nice dining table with four chairs um, that we think could fit very nicely in our living room but we have to drive two hours again to get there <laughs> So it's an adventure again, um, but I hope it's really worth it. And I think we have like one more hour to go. I'm really excited. So yeah, see you in a bit. told us that it's from 1937 and it's actually written on there so I will show you that when we get home but I'm so happy are you happy too yay <laughs> <laughs> we're finally here here's what the table and the chairs look like but I will show you that in a sec when we're actually home but now we have to carry all of that upstairs so wish us luck all right so if you come right in then that is your view and as you can see we actually put this lamp there it was before that it was here and I kind of miss it here but I think it looks much better there the plant is kind of dying guys I am so bad with plants I think it does not get enough light so we really need to like figure something out because I want it to be in this corner so I thought we can maybe put this plant a bit up that it's like bigger here then there's not something missing then we want to put like two shelves up there where we can put like books and stuff here is the table you already know the sofa you already know but we have two pillows um, that I recently ordered online um, they're in this really nice color it just looks so off on camera I don't know why um, this sofa always looks brown. It's actually green, guys. <laughs> but anyway, so um, yeah, that's what the sofa looks like now. Then we have our beautiful paintings that are like still one of my biggest like highlights in our living room. And we have the lamp. And I think this area looks so good. Like with the record player, it just, it's perfection, basically. I also put the magazine stand here. And I think that's also much better because here it was just like too packed. Um, so that's already a really, really nice corner. Here's our little perpetual calendar from the 1930s. So cute. We recently got this. And now behind us, you can already see our new curtains peeking through. These are brand new. We got them in the mail like yesterday. And I will show you what they look like. They're actually super duper wide. So we thought for the living room, we could go with like... The color of our carpet, which is just like off-white beige, but it's more like a beige than off-white. But we ordered these because they looked a bit darker online and they're actually really nice linen curtains, but they're so white. We ordered them in like off-white, that's the color, but it's so freaking white and... I don't know, I just don't like that for our living room. I feel like if we have a like more beige um, curtain, then this just, I don't know, would tie in better with everything. So I think because we can't send them back, they're actually custom made, we might have to dye them. <sighs> which is scary um but i mean we don't have to do it right away but i definitely want to change it because i'm not happy with the color in here but let me know you guys what your thoughts are on these i don't know i feel like a bit darker would be better Ta-da! here is our table and chairs so the owner told us that this table is from 1937 which is so cool to have the exact date it's actually written like 
um, underneath. And here's what the chairs look like. So that's what they look like. I think they're super chic. I just love that little detail here. And they're also in really good condition. I think we only need to clean up like the fabric a bit. Um, but it's actually green, guys. I mean, how perfect is that? It just goes so well in here. Um, and we can also adjust the size of this. This can actually be much longer. Um, but this size is really good for like two to four people. So we're leaving it like this. And then when we have maybe like a party coming up, we can make it bigger. That's so practical. So yeah, and that's actually already our living room for now. Um, that's how it looks like from this side. And I really like how it is coming together, you guys. Um, I think the only like issues are or the only things that we need to figure out is first of all the sideboard situation not happy with that not happy with the ugly tv um and the curtains um and then i also again want like some shelves and make this look a bit prettier but overall i'm really really happy with how this is turning out it's just so cozy and also our bar card will be there i hope that's not too packed but I think this will be like, just make it more glam. So we will pick that up, I think next week. Hey guys, it's been a hot minute since I last vlogged. Um, I apologize, I was so busy and still am with uni, it's insane. Um, I'm actually like yesterday I stayed in uni at like until midnight because of the project that we're currently working on. It's so draining, like I haven't slept all week. I am so done. But today, this evening, is our housewarming party, <laughs> which I'm super duper excited about. Like, honestly, I've been dreaming about this since we got the flat. And I invited a bunch of my friends, also my friend e. Jasmine, she's from Bavaria. She also came actually today and she's staying until Sunday at our place, so that's cool. And now I want to make like the whole flat ready. I already walking cleaned and cleaned, tidied up everything, not everything, a lot. There's still a lot to do. And yeah, but I quickly wanted to tune in and show you like a few more things that we got for our flat that I haven't like got around to show you. So yeah, let's do that right now. First of all, something changed in the living room. We finally have the sideboard in here that we had in the hallway and I just love that. And we also have our table. We now put it here, but we want to change it today so that the table is there and the sideboard will be here because then we have more room to walk. Um, and yeah, I just think it is a bit better. It's not like a perfect solution, but I think it's okay for now, honestly. Like we don't have a massive living room, so we have to kind of roll with it, but I still think that it's cute. We also have some prints that we want to put in the hallway because the hallway is in really big need of a little makeover. <laughs> so that's one of them. We like got a bunch of prints from like our like favorite like black icons because we wanted to give like a kind of honor wall to black history i just thought that was a really really cool idea and only have like black artists and like people that we admire um from the past on there so here's this couple swing dancing it's so cute and we put them in like black frames i just love that they just look so good it's like really good quality and then we also got a picture of uh, my queen josephine baker look how pretty she looks that's when she like worked or like fought with the resistance in France. She looks so good. And yeah, then a bunch of other prints. I will show you that when we put it on a wall. Another thing that we got is this massive fan. And guys, this one will come on the wall, like right over the table. And I need to show you this because this is so stunning. I mean, how pretty is this? <laughs> We got this for like 15 euros. We like picked it up here in Berlin and it actually looks so old. That actually might be like a old one because most fans I found were not old, but I wanted one that looks old and looks not that like cheap and tacky, if you know what I mean. And I think this one really has like this antique vibe to it. And also the wood goes really, really well with all the wood in our living room. So that's what we also want to put up on the wall today. So lots of new decorations and I love it.
Hey guys, are you ready to see the final reveal of the bar cart? Come right in. So here is our beautiful 1930s Art Deco bar cart, now fully restored. I will now show you it in its whole glory. So here are these Art Deco handles and if you do this, then ta 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 ta! You can see the inside of the bar card. So as you can see, it has three mirrors um, and it opens up. Um, we're actually planning to maybe install some lights in there. I mean, it would be so fancy if the lights will go on whenever we pull it down. But I think it already looks super fancy just like that. And at our housewarming party, my dear friend Paula gifted us these beautiful glasses. Aren't they so Art Deco looking? Just so gorgeous. So yeah, this is our bar card now. And over the bar card, we put these beautiful um, vintage wall masks. I also want to have like another big one and maybe expand, expand it a bit, but I think for now it's pretty cute like that. It actually also has some doors underneath and here we stored more like glasses and um, our um, punch set. Um, as I said before, this is not what I like had in mind, like my vision, but I think it fits very nicely in our living room and is definitely like a highlight. Um, so yeah, that's our beautiful bar card. And now we have put this gorgeous sideboard in the living room and it's not in the hallway anymore. And um, I think this is really the right decision, even though that we don't have a TV right now, but we have one in our bedroom so I think this is the better solution because otherwise it will look too ugly here. I found these really cute also Art Deco um, book holders or whatever they're called. They're basically just little um, dogs. They're so cute. So yeah and actually I feel like they look like they belong to the sideboard. Moving on here is our dining table that I also already showed to you. And we now decided to put it like this because before that we had it the other way around. Um, but I think it works better like that. Um, yeah, that's actually the perfect size and we can even expand it if you want to. But I think for this room, the size is perfect. And then here we have our beautiful fan um, that I put on the wall with my dear friend Jasmine. So I think this is basically all new in our living room. I think the rest you already know. Uh, maybe David can give you like a little round, like a little <laughs> tour, <laughs> 360. <laughs> to the kitchen come right in so this is how the kitchen looks like now we now have two of these cabinets so this whole section is basically all done um, we also have a vintage inspired toaster in light blue it even says vintage yeah right on theme and you can show them the clock because uh, we picked this color to match the clock over the door and that's what it looks like and i'm also planning to find some nice curtains and also this like pastel theme maybe like some light blue and pink vintage curtains to put on the uh, windows and maybe we can also put like the same fabric like right here so that all of this is covered because i feel like it's too ugly now like all of these things it just does not look glam or nice um so i was thinking about putting a curtain like maybe right here or maybe finding something different because this was only temporary um but maybe with like a nice like drape um to match the windows this could work uh, i'm not sure we will see so yeah but i think the kitchen is almost done to be honest um yeah it already feels pretty nicely doesn't it all right, guys, so I really hope that you enjoyed this episode, even though it's super late out and also, 
it was kind of not nicely filmed. Like, I'm so sorry. I was just all over the place last month. Like, honestly, I'm so done. Um, but it's okay. After next week, I will be more relaxed and hopefully be able to film more content for you. Um, yeah, as I said, I think this will be the last episode, but I'm definitely planning to post like a flat tour when we feel like it is actually coming together and um, is like almost finished or finished, but I think it will never be finished. You know, you always find some bits and things that could be different, you know. But thank you guys so much for your support. Um, it was so nice to share this experience with you guys. Um, I really loved all of your comments. They really made my day. And um, yeah, I'm just really glad that you enjoyed these kind of videos. Also, check out my Patreon in the description um, if you want to see more of me. And yeah, I hope you have a great day, evening or night, wherever you are. Stay safe and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! Just come over on the sunny side. You'll be welcome on the sunny side. Every gentleman and lady, if you're living where it's shady, come over on the sunny side.